Hi, my name is Eric, and I love to make live, improvised performances on my Eurorack modular synthesizer. That's why I started building expression controllers like this, the Axon Razor, which I already sell as BioPower Audio. I'm excited today to introduce a new line of synthesizer controllers using an 8HP in-rack module interface, the Hi5. This module uses an Ethernet cable to send plus 12 volts and receive back five channels of analog DC voltage from a variety of remote controllers. It can attenuvert each channel between negative and positive 10 volts and then offset them between negative and positive 5 volts before outputting them to your modular system. At present, I've designed two controllers to work with Hi5, but I'm going to publish the circuit on my website and I want to encourage DIY makers to design their own dream controllers to pair with the module. I'm also making all three devices available as built modules and DIY kits with custom LED button and fader colors. The controllers also fit alternate front panels for mounting in Eurorack rails and can connect to the Hi5 interface via a ribbon cable on the back of the modules. Digit is a Swiss Army knife concept that produces signals from the X and Y axis of a joystick, a pressure pad, a solo button with off momentary on and on momentary off settings, and a similar button paired to a fader. Manual Override has this pair of a button with a longer fader for all five channels, providing extremely precise control for your modular patches. My philosophy when designing these controllers was to make something my daughter would love to play with, or indeed anyone new to modular synthesis. I've made them solid with large arcade LED buttons. Digit's three VU meters provide vivid visual feedback that help players understand the connection there between their gestures and the sounds they're making. I found out that they're also easy to see on a darkened stage. Five CV parameters for me is the sweet spot of different ways to control a patch, allowing both casual players and performers on stage to focus their expressive energies on the musical modulation that really matters. In this patch for Digit, Channel E is controlling a 16th note Euclidean rhythm for the arpeggio from a clock module. CV controllers are a great way to give more immediate command over a very deep and useful digital module like Pamela's new workout, where attenuation on inputs is two or three layers deep in a menu. A quarter note pulse triggers a slope generator to provide the pitch of the arpeggio. And channel C, joystick Y axis, is attenuating the wave in a VCA. This wave gets quantized to a major triad and sent to the volt per octave input of my oscillator plats. The pressure point channel B modulates the timbre of the oscillator, and channel A lengthens the decay of the audio envelope. While channel D, the final channel, modulates the delay time of a stereo delay effect for spacey wobbles. Over here, the manual override is controlling the rhythm section on a much simpler patch. Channels A, B, and C control kick, snare, and hi-hat patterns, respectively, on a mutable instrument's grids drum algorithm module. Channel D sends CV to open the hi-hat, and I'm using channel E as a simple push button for my high five clap. Easy, but very fun. All this preparation really pays off when you've got someone else to play with. There's also lots to see, too. All right. Put Paris also down. Show everybody how it works.
That sound.